I am not allowed to have coffee in church anymore. I think they overreacted a bit. I mean, the coffee was practically cold. No one got burned or anything. And I offered to have his suit cleaned and his wife's dress and the church pews. And I said I would replace the toupee. It really wasn't my fault. I mean, obviously, if I'd known it was coming, I would, I would have put down my coffee cup, but I didn't know. See, Mr. R was sitting down instead of standing up for the singing. So when I stood up with the rest of the congregation, my coffee cup was positioned pretty much directly over his head. And then I sneezed. Choo! Suddenly. Choo! Oh, seven times. When I sneeze, it's a rather loud, intense sound. Choo! In fact, many people don't recognize it as sneezing at all. Some think I'm coughing. Others think it sounds more like choking. Choo! Now, Mrs. M is rather hard of hearing, so she hears this strange sound and looks over in time to see Mr. R shoot out of his seat and start jumping around. And meanwhile, Mrs. R starts screaming and I am still sneezing. Choo, choo, choo! Whew. And Mrs. M has 911 on speed dial. Pastor tried to bring the congregation back to order. He got everyone to sit down and started the lead up to the day's sermon. I believe he was saying, today's scripture reading will be from Psalm 48, when we heard the sirens. And then an ambulance and fire truck pulled up outside the church. Of course, no one immediately connected the arrival of the paramedics to the coffee incident, so everyone started looking around, wondering who was bleeding or sick or in some kind of dire straits. Parents headed for the nursery and Sunday school rooms. Someone remembered Mr. and Mrs. R who were still mopping up in the bathroom and assumed something bad had happened to them. Maybe he was burned after all, or the incident caused him to have a heart attack or gave him cancer or something. Everyone was running around and talking all at once. There was so much commotion and chaos, and then it got worse. Now, to be fair, Mrs. B was always somewhat delicate, so a scene like this one naturally caused her to faint. And naturally, she banged her head on a pew on the way down, which at least gave the paramedics something useful to do. It all got straightened out eventually, though not in time to actually save the service. That day's sermon would have to wait until the following Sunday, by which time the pew, the suit, the toupee, and Mrs. B were all as good as new. And Pastor let me know that, of course, I was always welcome in church, but only if I leave my coffee at home. <laughs>